Attention on deck. Please rise for our invocation. invite you to pray. Most gracious God, we pause this morning to ask for your blessings on this graduating class. Thank you for the new insights and wisdom they have gained. Thank you for their knowledgeable instructors, committed SLPOs, and their dedicated A-School staff. And thank you for the love and support of their family and friends. God, help them now to feel the true measure of their accomplishment and know that it was worth it. May today be a memory that burns bright within them. Strengthen them and bless them now. This is our prayer. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning. Welcome to Naval Nuclear Power Training Command. My name is Chief Schmidt. I'll be the master of ceremonies for today's graduation. Good morning, Commander Pomeroy, uh, chaplain, staff, family and friends, and most importantly, you guys, the graduates out here. Uh, welcome to the graduation ceremony for Electronics Technician Class 2218. So today is a special day for these sailors uh, as it marks the completion of long weeks of hard work. Uh, I am pleased that we are here to recognize the efforts and achievement of these young men and women. Today's guest speaker is from Arvada, Colorado, he joined the Navy in February 2014. After completing recruit, recruit training command in Great Lakes, Illinois, he attended Nuclear Field A School, Power School, right here in Goose Creek, South Carolina, before attending Prototype in Boston Spa, New York. Upon completing training, he was stationed aboard the USS Maryland, a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine stationed in Kings Bay, Georgia. During his time on board, he supported five strategic deterrent patrols, fulfilling the keystone role of our nation's nuclear tribe. After only two years on board, he was selected to be the leading petty officer of electrical division on board USS Maryland, coordinating maintenance and upkeep for electrical production and distribution systems vital to the successful mission execution and safe operation of that submarine. In October of 2020, he reported to Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, where he was assigned as an instructor in the Digital Electronics and Microprocessor Division, where he taught five classes before being hand-selected to be a Section Leading Petty Officer, which is an assignment only given to staff members who exhibit <coughs> enviable standards of excellence. It's my pleasure to introduce Electrician's Mate First Class Submarine Warfare, John Wagner. Commander Pomeroy, chaplain, family and friends, staff, and most importantly, graduates. So I'd like to start off by repeating some words that you, as the participants in this program, hopefully already know. We, as the Naval Nuclear Power Propulsion Community, have an unmatched record of safety, reliability, and sustained operational readiness. We have achieved and we sustain this record by ensuring that our reactor plants and our engine rooms are staffed around the clock every day of every year important C with the most competent and the most trustworthy operators that we can hope to supply them. And so all of you as graduates of your respective A schools, you can now take pride in having completed the first leg of your journey on the way to joining that elite crowd. If you find the journey difficult at times, it is because it is intended to be. We do not strive to make this training simple. We do not strive to make it easy because we need people that are capable of overcoming extreme obstacles. People that are able to face trials head on, people like you. So know that by completing this school, you have begun to cement a reputation as someone that, can rely, that we can rely upon to get the job done, which is to keep the fleet moving. To the families of these graduates, know that they have made it through arduous times long days, difficult exams, and difficult instructors to make it to where they are today. Be proud of what they have and know that they are well on their way to achieving more. Graduates, as you advance in your careers and as you move on to positions of greater leadership and technical ability, remember finally that no matter what the task, it is who you are and what you believe yourself capable of which marks the line between failure and success. And there are no real words to encapsulate that message other than those of Admiral Hyman G. Rickover, who said that what it takes to do a job will not be learned from management courses. It is principally a matter of experience, the proper attitude and common sense, none of which can be taught in a classroom. Human experience shows that people, not organizations or management systems, get things done. 
So without further ado, military members, attention. Graduating students, I will now proc you to the rank of third class petty officer. To all who shall see these presents, greetings. Greetings! Know ye that by the authority vested in me, and reposing special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of these sailors, I do hereby appoint you to the rank of third class petty officer in the United States Navy, as such from the 8th day of July, 2022. Your appointment as a petty officer in the United States Navy makes you heir to a long and proud tradition of naval leadership. By accepting this appointment, you are charged with demonstrating those standards of performance, moral courage, and dedication to the Navy and the nation, which may serve as an enviable example to your fellow Navy men and women. Your desire to excel and to guide others must be boundless. Your appearance must be a model for others, and your performance must be a continual reflection of your sincerity, attention to duty, and moral responsibility. By exhibiting unfailing trust and obedience towards superiors, cooperation and loyalty to your peers, Understanding and strength to your subordinates, you will contribute greatly to the effectiveness and good name of the United States Navy. Families and friends, please join me in a round of applause for the Navy's newest third class petty officers. Uh, each of these sailors has earned their title, uh, their new title. There are those, however, who stand out from the rest as evidenced by having the highest grade point average among their classmates. The instructors, advisors, and classmates recognize them for their achievements in the classroom. We call these graduates our honor graduates. So today's honor graduate is electronics technician, third class, Arvin Chillerich. Presented by Master Chief Zimmerman and Commander Pomeroy. Military personnel, attention to honors. From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command to Electronic Ignition Third Class, Arvin Chillerich. Congratulations for achieving the highest grade point average among all the graduates from your class at Nuclear Field A School, Charleston. Your standing as number one reflects your personal motivation, academic excellence, and dedication to duty. Your outstanding performance serves as a superb example to your shipmates and is in keeping with the highest traditions of United States Naval Service. Best wishes, signed S.J. McGinnis, Captain, United States Navy, Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command. <laughs> Military personnel, please be seated. So this time, it's my pleasure to introduce the section leading petty officer for class 2218 Tango, electronics technician, chief petty officer, submarine warfare qualified, Travis Armstrong. Good morning, Commander Pomeroy, chaplain, fellow staff, family, and friends. All right, so I was there at SLPO, so I know that's something for you all uh, more or less kind of help guide them through the program all six months and help them make wise and decent choices, hold them accountable in some cases like army men being placed in the classroom for traditional reasons. But uh, I'm excited to be here in front of them and uh, graduate them. So we're here today for you guys. Right? Congratulate these sailors to recognize their accomplishment of completing the first portion of their nuclear training. Graduates, you have taken the first step towards op operating the most powerful, complex, and technologically advanced warships in the world. It's pretty crazy. Whether it is on the floating sea as an aircraft carrier, or hundreds of feet under the water on submarines, as you sit here today, you should be extremely proud of your accomplishment of completing the most difficult A school the military has to offer. For many of you, this is the most you have ever been challenged. You must now shoulder more responsibility and strive for greater excellence. Do not get comfortable with your success. As Admiral Rick over often stated, striving for excellence is continuously maintaining constructive dissatisfaction with the status quo. Status quo. It is going beyond doing what is required to doing the right thing. It is an effort made by each of us every day to improve, to learn from mistakes of our own and others to be more effective and to be more productive. And you guys have 
heard me echo that, right? Aiming for excellence, pursuing excellence. I've talked to you guys about that a lot. The Naval Nuclear Power Program history has an unblemished record of safe nuclear operations spanning more than six decades, reaching every corner of the globe with its unrivaled influence. This feat was accomplished by the careful selection and training of you all. You should be proud that you are now a part of our illustrious, illustrious history. Remember what you've learned, uphold the standards, and never compromise your integrity. Hold yourselves accountable. Continue to operate as a team. Thank you for all your hard work. Now, presenting class 2218 Tango. Left face! <coughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Asher Beasley. <laughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Anthony Becker. Technician, third class, Lars Conway. <laughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Jacob Gaskin. <laughs> third class, Stephen Hollinger. <laughs> third class, Gabriel Powell. Third class, Nicholas Kalibas. <laughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Christopher Kane. <laughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Long Q. <laughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Jonathan Kim. Electronics Technician, third class, Ken Lee. Electronics Technician, third class, Stephen Lamer. Electronics, third class, Zachary Lopez. Electronics Technician, third class, Mason McClaws. Electronics Technician, third class, Chase McNeil. Electronics Technician, third class, Joseph Rao. Electronics Technician, third class, Thomas Staley. Electronics Technician, third class, Matthew Trujillo. Electronics Technician, third class, Jacob Wall. Graduating with distinction, Electronics Technician, third class, Ethan Canoy. Electronics Technician, third class, Thomas Gallagher. Electronics Technician, third class, Tyler Napier. Electronics Technician, third class, Nicholas Russ. Electronics Technician, third class, Matthew Strasser. Electronics Technician, third class, Ian Whitcomb. Electronics Technician, third class, Bradley Wicklund. <laughs> Graduating with honors, Arvin Chillerich. <laughs> Electronics Technician, third class, Matthew Parr. <laughs> and finally, Electronics Technician, third class, Joseph Wagner.
walk around a little bit. They got a long walk there. Military personnel, please be seated. They also have about a hundred hands to shake in the back there. So, all right. So each of these sailors has exerted a great deal of personal drive, overcame obstacles, and made individual sacrifices to be here. Still. There are those that by the manner in which they have completed their training have inspired others. What sets these sailors aside from their peers are the consistency of their efforts, their refusal to quit, and the example that they set. They demonstrated the qualities most treasured in the Navy, those of honor, courage, and commitment. These sailors are the recipients of the commanding officer's personal excellence award. So this is a surprise award. Today's recipient is, uh, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Electronics Technician, 3rd Class, Stephen Lamer. <laughs> Personal Excellence Award will be presented by Master Chief Zimmerman and Commander Pomeroy. Military personnel, attention to honors. Two, electronics technician, third class, Stephen Lamer. The commanding officer's personal excellence award is awarded to the student in each class who has exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. This student stands apart from their peers by virtue of hard work, personal de dedication, and demonstrated desire to succeed. Your impressive dedications to duty, exceptional academic efforts, and perseverance in the face of adversity have made you an outstanding example for your classmates to emulate. The professionalism exhibited while performing your duties is in keeping with our Navy Corps values and warrants your selection and, and recognition today as the recipient of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. My staff and I are proud of your demonstrated effort, leadership, and outstanding <coughs> results. The character and professionalism that you have earned, correction, the professionalism that have earned you this recognition will serve you well in the follow-on training, and I am confident you will succeed here and in the fleet. Congratulations and well done. Signed, S.J. McGinnis, Captain, United States Navy, Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power, Training Command. Please be seated. Uh, it's my pleasure now to introduce the Director of A School, Commander Pomeroy. Uh, so that, that award, like uh, Chief said, is a surprise to the family and friends. They don't, the, the sailor doesn't know that that award's coming. <clears throat> the personal excellence award, we, we keep it a uh, close to our uh, best uh, for the, the time for the ceremony. So uh, just a little background on him. Uh, he was a class leader, uh, really worked hard academically, and uh, was a great class leader and did a really good job with the class. So super achievement. Uh, but welcome everybody. Uh, Fridays are my favorite day of the week uh, because we get to do a grad, uh, not because tomorrow Saturday the weekend's coming, but we, uh, we do an A school graduation every week. Uh, unlike power school where they do it every eight weeks, uh, we get to do it every week. So it is an awesome, uh, awesome event. And to have as many as you folks that came here today traveling, I know it's, it's hard to travel at this time of the year. Uh, I, mean, I hope you're enjoying the South Carolina, uh, South Carolina summer. It's a little hot and humid, so if you're coming from the uh, north, you know, up, up north, something like that. Uh, Surprise, it's really hot. So, uh, anyways, I'll probably re re reiterate a few things that the uh, guest speaker, uh, the SLPO, and the, uh, everybody said already, but I'd be remiss if I didn't. So, first, to the family and friends, both the uh, uh, guest speaker and the SLPO talked about uh, being out at sea and what the responsibility it takes to operate and maintain nuclear reactors. So, these sailors, in a little less than a year, probably, or a little, maybe a little more than a year, they'll be operating uh, under, under the sea or above the sea on a nuclear aircraft carrier submarine. So it's a huge deal. I spent a lot of time with them yesterday to talk about the responsibility that that takes. So your support throughout this time, while they're power school prototype, and then especially when they get to the fleet, is very, very important. So please uh, please keep it up and thank you. To the staff, uh, I can't say this every week, or I say this every week, great job with, with mentoring these young sailors uh, and making them uh, electronics technicians, but great job there. They're all also graduating as petty officers. So you did an extra, uh, extra good job this time, and uh, a great job. And to the students, or to the graduates, I, I told you yesterday that I would keep my comments short, right? Because I know you're not getting any leave, you're getting uh, four days of special liberty, where you can go out and spend time with your family, or, or enjoy your time in, uh, here in Charleston, or wherever you go. 
uh, and I will, but I'd be, uh, I need to talk about a few things we talked about. So while you're out, out on leave, uh, or out on uh, leave, or liberty this weekend, and when you do get to go back on leave in September, uh, please don't forget those Washington principles. Right? We talked about how important they were yesterday. We went over a few examples of uh, things that or the class may have had some things you got to overcome. Your uh, SLP will mention the Army men, all right? You're not wearing green. You wear, uh, you know, you wear the navy blue and gold. So I really appreciate the, that and you overcame that. So don't forget those. You'll be the face of the Navy when you get back home or when you're downtown Charleston. And uh, keep it up and, and job well done. So with that, I will turn you over to the... Uh, uh, master ceremonies. We'll get you out of here. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. And uh, I look for, uh, forward to your success at Power School. Thank you. All right, folks, please stand for our benediction. I invite you to pray. Gracious God, we thank you again for this time that you have given us to honor and celebrate these graduates. We pray that they will go to their next phase with a sense of pride and confidence, ready to face what lies before them. Bless them now, God, always providing them guidance, safety, and protection. May they strive toward excellence in all that they do. May they go now with the knowledge that they have your fullest and most profound blessing. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's graduation. We thank you guys for coming out. We appreciate the support that you give for these sailors on a daily basis. Military personnel, carry on. All right.